March the 2nd, 2013. We're looking at SOHO, guys. Now, this is an Earth-facing satellite. And I had a question about where is ISON going to be visible from and where what's the orbit points. And so I'm going to go through some of the different cameras that we observe. Some of them are not Earth-facing. Stereo A and B, for example, are on either sides of the sun and behind it somewhat. So I'm going to go through each one of those and show you the path. So as we, even if you don't have a backyard telescope or a telescope, you can come online, look at these instruments, and watch and know where to look for ISON. Now we've got, of course, we've got pan stars and lemon in this month in March, but they're not sun divers. This is a sun diver larger than Lovejoy. If you remember. Remember my videos from two uh, Christmases ago. We filmed it. <clears throat> almost every foot of that thing coming in. They didn't know if it was going to hit the sun or not, remember? When it appeared on the other side, the folks at NASA were surprised. If that, as large as that was, if it would have hit the sun. We don't know what type of eruption CME solar flare that would have created. I have seen too many small sun divers created a flare as they approach as if a potential difference in them. If you understand electronics, a capacitor, or just touching a hot to a negative, you can create an arc. And that's what this, even the small sun divers have appeared to do. But anyway, this video will show you the path. Remember, this is so, and it is Earth-facing. There's your path. Well, let's look at some of the other satellites. So remember, if you are facing, or you're Earth facing, it's going to come into the right on SOHO, loop back around, hopefully, and go back out. Some reports are 15 times brighter than the moon. Now, we'll look at some of the other satellites, but it'll be coming in from the right. Again, hopefully, loop around, go out to the top right. Now, this is a little different JPL. But there's a couple of very interesting things here. You can see that this is ISON there coming in and out. Now notice one thing about it. As it, it go it comes in, loops around the sun, we hope, and then it will be an almost a north pole event. In other words, it's gonna come right over the top of the earth. Watch it right there. See that? We hope it does red. We're definitely under it. Now, let's move to HI2. Now, on HI2, you're one of the stereo, uh, you're on one of the stereo satellites. A is ahead of Earth in orbit, so we would be looking out the back door if this could be a manned spacecraft. As we went around the sun watching Earth follow us. So, as you go in and you look at at the top, you'll see your HI2O cameras that you go to the SETI link on our website. We have all of these links in one place. ISUN's going to come from the left, go through to the right. That's going to be your incoming track. Now, we'll look at a couple others. But save this video, guys, because uh, you can go back and look at it as the uh, satellite, I mean, excuse me, as the comments coming in. Now, this goes to the CRO2A, also on the stereo page, guys. You can see it come in from the bottom left and come out at the top right. Now, in stereo and A, again, we're ahead of Earth, right? So at that time, Earth is going to be <clears throat> under that image. In, in other words, you'll be looking at it from a satellite, but uh, ISUN is going to be coming straight over our head. This is the CRO2B. This is behind Earth rotating in the sun. Now this one we watch a lot. This is uh, the EUV uh, uh, eye off the B camera. Now you, again we're going to be on the B. You're behind Earth rotating around the sun. It's going to come in from the bottom left and go out the right. Earth is going to be to the right of this. It's going to come right over us there also. I mean just in your camera angles. Remember that. It's going to be very interesting to watch. Remember on the SOHO cameras, it's going to be coming at the camera up and above. 
Now, this will give us the angle from behind the sun. That's where it's going to come, go down and come around behind it. When we're look, again looking at SOHO, are the, are the SDO images they're Earth facing? Now, let's go to Alaska. These are Earth facing images. Again, it's going to fool you. It's going to come in from the bottom, but as it comes out, that track upward, we're going to be under that orbit. You saw it on the JPLs. It should be very beautiful if it makes it around. Now, this is going back to Lovejoy, Christmas before last. One of the largest I've seen. It was one of the largest that they had seen. One of the largest. Now, 15 times brighter than this. And again, they were not sure if this was going to make it around the sun. Here in the blue image is where it came out. They, it surprised them. They weren't really talking about it, an impact of something that large. Now, if you'll read below this, it says, Comet Lovejoy startled scientists by surviving its sun grazing, grazing cruise around the sun and back into space on December 15th through the 16th. This was the brightest sun grazing comet that Stereo or Soho has ever observed. Its survivability might be partially explained by the size of its core, an estimated two football fields wide and about ten times larger than the other Cruitt's comets, or what they call sun divers. Now, there's tons of video um, from Lovejoy, but uh, I, I don't have any of them from the old channel, but you can go to uh, Stereo or NASA and check those out. This is a short one, but it'll show it come in, and at the end it uh, shows it when it starts to, re to get bright again, right there, as it comes back out. But it did got a large tail as it... Uh, came around that sun it started to glow brighter and brighter as it went back out into space anyway it's a heads up on this guys be safe